What's going on everybody? Welcome to Texas Honda Channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that is highly requested um, and I have the means to do it right now so I'm going to. They want to know the difference between a long gear A000 transmission and a B000 short gear transmission. Now if you didn't see in a previous video I took um, the transmission that was bad out of here and put in this short gear ratio uh, D16 Y8 transmission, which is one of the best D series transmissions out there aside from the Z6 um, Which is essentially the same gear ratio So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this longer gear ratio transmission in the car and I'll do a time-elapse sped up version um, if you want a detailed how to do it I have a link and that'll be in the description on how to replace the transmission but this will basically just be for entertainment on the pulling it out and uh, installing the new one i'll just have you up here on a mount kind of overlooking the entire engine bay but this is a stock d16 y7 transmission um, it's basically the same thing as the b7 transmission the d15 b7 as you can see down here it says a000 um, that's how you can tell if it's longer gear or shorter gear. Now, there are people that will argue that the B00s, all of them are not short gear, but every single one of them that I have personally done uh, and installed in a car were short geared. And every single A000 transmission has been long. So that's the only way I know to look for it. So basically, I'll swap these out. Um, I will do some comparison videos from whenever it was short geared with the supercharged setup and go through the gears with the long gears and go over the pros and the cons. So basically, I'm going to set this up there. Um, if you didn't notice, I have a new mic. I ended up getting a new camera rig as well. You can see it has a uh, light on top and it holds the phone perfectly. And it, it's a lot more stable. So when we go to the drag strip and stuff like that, we'll have cleaner shots. But uh, I'm just using my iPhone 6S, which is what I use in 90% of my videos, and a GoPro Hero 7 Silver. That's about the only thing I use for these videos. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put you up on the mount and uh, we'll get this thing swapped over and we'll go from there. It's all back together. I made sure it goes in reverse and makes it go in first and everything seems pretty good. So I'm going to go take it out for a spin and uh, then we'll go over some things about the pros and the cons of short gear versus long gear. Okay, so it definitely seemed a little bit laggier compared to the short gear because the shorter the gear ratio, the faster you accelerate. 
but it did seem pretty solid as well. So, I mean, these transmissions aren't bad transmissions. I just prefer personally the short gear ratio. So I accelerated a little quicker. The only real way to see if it made an improvement or, you know, it didn't is to take it back to the track, um, see how it does on the track launching. Cause we were consistent at running 1387 to 1382 with a short gear transmission. Now with this long gear, we don't know yet. So we'd have to take it to the track to get some solid numbers there. All right, so now we're gonna do the pros and cons of the short gear versus the long gear. So the short gear Z6 or D16Y8 transmission, I would say the pro would be quicker acceleration, definitely. Um, even in fifth gear, cruising down 45 mile an hour, you floor it, you actually pull still. In a long gear, you don't. So short gear definitely has the pro of uh, quicker acceleration. Um, the con would be your gas mileage will drop because your RPMs do stay higher. Even in fifth gear going 70 mile an hour, uh, your RPMs are gonna be around 3,500 or higher. Just really depends on which short gear you have. Your, your gear ratio is a big factor in this. And if you've swapped gears out, then it will be different. Um, they do make hybrid transmissions where you can actually take internals from a Y8 and a Y7 and uh, mix it all together and then you can actually make a hybrid transmission so you have the insanely short geared acceleration but when you're on the highway you've got all the uh, lower rpm cruising speed so you get good gas mileage and quick acceleration but i don't exactly know how to do a hybrid transmission but i know there's a lot of write-ups on honda tech about it so i would say the pro is quick acceleration and the con is bad gas mileage now we're going to do the pro and the cons for the long gear transmission Pro number one, fuel economy is gonna be awesome. Cruising in fifth gear at 70 mile an hour, your RPMs are a lot lower than the short gear. Um, I know this for a fact because I've dealt with both Y7 and Y8s for so long. The Y7 did definitely have longer gears and I got better gas mileage. As soon as I swapped over the Y8 transmission into the stock Y7, my fuel economy dropped by a couple miles per gallon, um, normal driving conditions. So we've got the pro, definitely fuel economy. Now the con would obviously be the longer gears, doesn't accelerate nearly as quick and also doesn't handle as much power. Um, the Y7s that I have had or the B7 transmissions, they end up going out way quicker and way easier than the Y8 short gears do. Now granted, both transmissions, if they're in great shape, they'll last a long time if you don't beat on them too much, but beating on them at the track's kind of what I do. So. Um, they both have their pros, they both have their cons, but in the end, it's all personal preference. Also, this is another piece that we have to fix before we can go back to the track. Uh, lug nut ended up snapping off, so it needs to have the wheel hub separated from the wheel bearing. These aren't boltable styles. While you're in there, you might as well get a brand new wheel bearing and a wheel hub and put them both in. You can replace just the stud, but you're already in there, you might as well get the good stuff. So we can't go to the track until that's done, until we get the belly pan, which we don't have to have the belly pan. It's just good to have the belly pan um, with the drag slicks so that if anything happens and it craps its pants, it can crap its pants in the belly pan. But yeah, I mean, it's running really good still. We still have the short gear transmission, obviously. Um, I thought about while it's out, maybe we can save up some money and get the LSD locker. They support over 700 horsepower. Uh, Michael, my tuner, actually has one. It's just those cheap things from eBay and it makes it an LSD, uh, limited slip differential, and it actually works. So we might try that and while we're in there, put fresh bearings and stuff and then put the short gear back in. Um, also, if you guys are on my Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Texas Honda channel, you would have seen that I am selling the green car. We have some financial things and some family matters to take care of that cost a lot of money. So um, without going into too much detail, family comes first. I hope you guys understand. Uh, it's not like we can't build another drag Civic uh, with a turbo. So um, right now, 1500 bucks, clean, clear title, has some issues. Runs and drives though. Um, I just wouldn't drive it long distances until the head gasket or whatever's wrong with it is fixed. 
but it does definitely start up, run, and drive. Uh, it still needs a tune, but it does have the turbo kit. Refer to my other videos if you are interested. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sell it, but you know, family is more important than a car. So um, I hope you guys liked this video. We'll definitely get more video uh, with it at the track and get some more quarter mile times to see which one was actually better, whether the long gears is better or whether the short gears are better. To me personally, I think it's a personal preference for me. I prefer the short gear transmission out of the Y8. It also has steel shift forks in it versus the Z6, which has aluminum shift forks, or maybe it's vice versa. Either way, uh, the Z6 and the Y8 are my go-to B000 transmissions, and I just prefer them. But I hope the audio sounds pretty good for you guys. I got the new mic and the new recording equipment to hopefully make the video quality seem so much nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. Uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new here. We will have more coming to the channel as soon as I possibly can. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, God bless, stay safe, and stay awesome.